I'm Ryan from Monster Logo Studios. In this video, I'd like to cover the installation and setup of a new rig on your Headrush device. Let's start by connecting the Headrush to my computer and enabling USB transfer mode. Hmm. Huh. You can see that the Headrush now shows up as an external drive on my Windows desktop. Next, we're going to copy over the .rig file from my desktop to the Headrush storage container. Let's choose this MLS custom ambient rig for sale at MonsterLogoStudios.com. Now that that's done, I'm going to eject the storage container. and then hit Synchronize on the head rush, which will read the changes and incorporate the newly added rig into my library. Once the synchronization is complete, my rig is now available to select on the head rush. The first step with any new rig is to check the input settings. Pay particular attention to the gain and gate thresholds. This is a critical step in making sure that your sound matches the intended or demonstrated sound of the rig as closely as possible. When I created the ambient rig, I was using a 62 made in Japan Fender Jazz Master reissue with a Lawler P90 in the bridge position. The output and EQ characteristic of that guitar is a bit different than the output of my 2005 Gibson V, which I'm currently using. The first thing I notice is that the clean scene isn't very clean at all. So I'm going to turn down the input gain until I get the tone I'm looking for. Just a little more. That sounds about right. Little bit of trivia. This particular V was once owned by Chris Shiflett of the Foo Fighters and can be seen on stage here next to Brian May at the VH1 Rock Honors concert in May 2006. Now that my input volume is dialed in for this guitar, the next step would be to refer to the Rig Notes text file that comes with every Monster Logo Studios rig purchase. This particular rig has three scenes. The clean scene that you previously heard, a chord scene for ambient chord swells, and a note scene that removes the auto swell effect from melody and lead playing. On the notes scene, there's also a great hold feature programmed into the expression pedal that brings the delay just to the point of self-oscillation and allows you to play on top of the repeats. The last step is to have fun and explore. The song-specific rigs found on Monster Logo Studios are my best approximation of the artist's setups, but you may still need some EQ or gain tweaking depending on your particular setup. You should always let your ears be your guide or send me an email at ryan at monsterlogostudios.com and I'd be more than happy to help. I also stay fairly active in the forums and on the Facebook group and answer questions there as I have time. Thank you again for watching. Please remember to click on the subscription and notification icons below to be the first to know about all the exciting new content we have planned for this year.